Hello and welcome to the virtual pipe organ project. In this video we will be doing a tutorial on installing sample sets into Grand Org. So first off let's go into Firefox or whatever web browser of your choice that you'd like to use and we can type in Grand Org sample sets and here we get uh, search results here first one is from the source forge page uh, as far as I know the the project isn't being hosted on source forge anymore it's actually being hosted on github so let's ignore the first link and then let's focus in on these two links here so we have Piotr Grabowski .pl. Uh, he's a creator of virtual pipe organ sample sets, mostly dealing with the Hobvirk software, but he also has some that work with Grandorg. So let's go to his web page. So here he has a bit of a script on gr the Grandorg versions, and there are downloads to his various sample sets here. and uh, you can go to the instruments page and he's always uploading new uh, organs all the time his newer stuff you gotta pay for but uh, some of his older stuff here is free so everything from the Saint Jean de Luz core and down will be a free sample set so you can uh, download onto your computer and use with Grand Org uh, two of my favorites that I use is this Free Sock and also the Krakow St. John Cantius is very nice for your three manual console if you've got one. Uh, I'm pretty sure these other two manual ones are nice uh, as well. Um, so you need to have an account set up to download so I'm not going to show that from this page. Instead I'm going to go back and I'm going to sh go to this website here that uh, familjanpaulo.se so he's got a bunch of free sample sets for download here so he's got uh, a single manual Berea Funeral Chapel it's a pretty nice organ then the Berea Church it's a three manual and pedal I currently have that one as one of my main uh, organs that I like to use. Uh, there's the Calv Trask Church, which is a nice two manual organ. And then we have the Pitya School of Music, Berea Church Choir Organ, and then this uh, Norv Jardin Church Baroque Organ. It's an interesting one. And then with these files here, you got some of them are in the dot rar file, so you got to extract that upon downloading. Uh, if you're using a uh, Linux uh, distribution, that's quite simple to do. Uh, just a simple command line command can extract that. And then uh, what you do, flipping it back over to Grand Org here, is once it's downloaded, you would then want to go into your settings here and your paths to see where uh, you end up storing your sample sets so uh, on my system I have a completely dedicated hard drive to that so I'll show you that right now uh, so if I go right here to organ sample sets I have it set up so Grand Org packages will go there and my Grand Org organs that I've extracted will go here so I'm going to open up my Grand Org organs and you can see I've got the Berea Church, the Krakow, St. Jean Cantus, the Free Sock and that uh, Patia. So here we have uh, the Hopwork uh, definition file right there but since I'm using Grand Org and not Hopwork, this will not work. So I'll exit out of there. Uh, here, if I f uh, click on uh, into FreeSock here, you can see I have two dot organ files. So what Grand Org does is when you double click on this, it will then read the dot organ file, and I'll show you how that works. 
So I'm double clicking there and this can be a little time consuming so it's right now what's happening is it's loading up the sample set and this could take uh, it's not going to take too much longer maybe another 30 or so seconds I think I might have already used this sample set once so here's the thing with your bigger organs it's going to take a bit longer on the first in uh, the first load because it's going to load everything up in the memory and then it's going to create a cache and since this has already been cached it took maybe 45 seconds or so to upload so this is what the free sock uh, sample set looks like so how I got that there is I downloaded it from Piotr Grabowski's website I then extracted the um, the 7-zip or the RAR file, I can't remember which it was, and then I physically moved it into my uh, organ sample sets uh, folder. Now on with Grandorg with the installation, uh, if you go to your documents, and this would work on Windows as well, you go to Grandorg, and then normally it's stored in organs and in organ packages. And right now, as you can see, I have those empty because I'm using my own custom uh, installation area. So right now I'm going to go to Grandorg packages, and this is where I have the Patia organ downloaded to. So if I go back to Firefox here, you see how we have this file here, Patia, capital M, capital H, capital S, 2016-0115.org. This is different than a .organ file. This is a .org package. So everything has been packaged into this file. So once you download this file, you can then move it from your downloads folder over to your organ packages and then when you're in Grand Org, all you need to do is go to file okay why is this not working okay something's going on here let me just what is going on here let me close that up let me go back into uh, multimedia ground work. Let me restart that. Okay, I think I know what happened. I had uh, my other sample set loaded up, and then this created another instance, and I messed things up, but now we're back up and running. So, like I said, uh, what you want to what you can do is once you got the .org file downloaded, you can go to install organ package. I'm going to go uh, back over to here, I'm going to go to organ packages, I'm going to click on there and open and now it's telling me the organ package has been registered so I think I might have used this one once before but what will happen is uh, it'll seem like the computer's frozen, just leave it alone eventually what will happen after a few minutes after it's registered it, and this is the only annoying part, is there's no pop-up dialog that shows you that it's installing. It's just, it's like everything freezes, then all of a sudden the new uh, organ will load up, and a message similar to this will pop up saying the organ package has been registered. Then once that takes place, you can then go to open, and then you can go to where your organ package is. Uh, interesting. No, nope, that's not how you do it. Okay, so what we can do then is... Oh, there we go. Open recent. Then I can then open up the Patia sample set and that's what this one looks like. So I'm sorry for the long-windedness and some of the mistakes that I've made along the way. But as you can see, I'm not perfect <laughs> either with this. I'm still learning as I go. And that's why I'm making these tutorials. It's all for you guys trying to get into how to use Grand Org. So there's a, like on the Piotr Grabowski website, as I've showed you before, there's a number of different web uh, 
virtual pipe organs you can download and install. Same thing here on this website. We've got a number of organs here that you can download and install as well. And then going back to the search, uh, we have this virtual pipe organs.wordpress here. You can take a look at that. Now that's a th okay. This might be a bit of an outdated page, but uh, you can take a look through this. I'm just gonna close that. So yeah, mix all this here. So yeah, Piotr Grabowski. It mentions here, uh, Sonus Paradisi offers unrestricted demos of most of their sample sets, and uh, there are some other providers that provide the. Organ ODF files for it. So it's saying that the MPS Orgel site has Gondor ODFs available for f some of Sonus Paradisi's uh, sample sets. So feel free to take a look through here. You might find some good stuff. Uh, Jeu d'Org. I believe if we go down to here, the Steers Mocker organ is also available for Grand Org and this is a modest uh, two manual organ and then as you can see released back in 2012 so it's an older one and it was and it's for Hopwerk 3, 4, 5 and 6 other formats available so under these other formats this would be the one that you want for Grand Org if you're using J organ, you can download for that uh, sound font VST. So there's other options for you there for a Judorg. So feel free to have a look around. You might be surprised what you might find and what you might like for using with Grand Org. I hope that this has been an informative video, and uh, if you liked this tutorial. Uh, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and look forward to creating another t tutorial again soon. Um, I might uh, jump from focusing on Grand Org in my future tutorials to focus a little bit on Novation launch pads and how they work because they are more af can be a more affordable option for controlling the stops on your uh, virtual pipe organ. You can use it for not just for stops, you can use it also for combination settings and that. Uh, going to rant a little bit, so I have my right launch pad that I typically use for my right bank stuff. So all of these I would program onto my right launch pad, but I would also uh, dedicate a certain uh, column uh, for presets as well, so I can quickly move my right hand over and select a preset as I d don't currently have thumb pistons on my manuals. Anyways, that's enough of my rant. Have a great day, and I hope to see you guys again soon.